We're coming to you from Israel at the summit of Mount Carmel. Behind us, the Jezreel Valley in all its glory. Significant events happened right here on this summit. Today, we want to talk about Elijah the prophet and his showdown with the prophets of Baal. Of course, you remember this Bible story. There were about 450 prophets of Baal right up here. And Elijah challenged them and said, hey, let's build an altar. Whichever God responds with fire from heaven to consume the altar, that's the God that we should be following. So they did just that. The prophets of Baal built an altar of wood with a sacrifice on it. And they started to go through their normal customs of, of cutting themselves, of dancing around. All day they did this, raving, the scriptures say, crying out to Baal to please consume their sacrifice. But nothing happened. So Elijah mocked them. He said, hey, keep going. Maybe your God's out busy doing something else. Maybe he can't hear you. But nothing happened. So it was Elijah's turn. They rebuilt the sacrificial altar, which had been torn down. And so he instructs the people, pour multiple gallons of water all over this sacrificial altar. And they do so, and it becomes drenched. And then Elijah prays, and the God of Israel, the God of heaven, responds. He calls down, he sends down fire from heaven, and the whole thing is consumed. It's at that point that Elijah tells the people to pursue and to kill the 450 prophets of Baal. So they rushed down the mountain, probably where I am right now. They went all the way down here to a little stream down there called Kishon, and that's where they breathed their last. This story is useful for us today because we also have a decision to make personally. Is the God of Israel the real God or not? Is the God of the Bible the one true God or not? If he is the one true God, then according to Elijah, we need to be following him in obedience. How about for you today? Where do you stand with the God of the Bible? Where do you stand with the God of Israel and his promised Messiah, Jesus of Nazareth, who grew up right in those hills over there? Thanks so much for listening today. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Until next time, shalom.